transitions. That's what we're gonna have a look at today. And all those glitch transitions you just saw were made using completely free elements and without once stepping foot into Fusion. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Now, everything I used, as I say, is completely free and it's all linked down below. So the sound effects, some of the overlays, the stock footage, everything links down below so you can go download it and have a play with this yourself. So let's boot up DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how. So here we are on the edit tab and as you can see, I've already set up my timeline with my stock footage. Now if we have a look in my media pool, you'll see I've got my stock footage in there. I've also got a couple of glitch effects as well as all my sound effects imported and ready to go. Now, the first thing we're gonna need is in the effects library. So click on the effects library icon here in the top left hand corner go down to the toolbox and expand that and then click on effects and we want to grab an adjustment clip and drag that onto your timeline to be just over the point where these two clips meet now you don't need to be too specific on the length of the adjustment clip because we can adjust it later on just sort of get it in the right place make it relatively short and we can work from there so we're going to use this adjustment clip to create the transition so again in the effects library click on open effects and then you should see a list of different effects here. Scroll right down to the bottom. We've got two here, which I nearly always use for glitch effects because they're really, really useful. We've got camera shake and we've got flicker edition. So I'm gonna grab flicker edition and pop that straight on there. And then if I hit play, you can see it just flickers. It's only subtle, but it just gives you a little bit of a flickering effect. And then we're gonna grab camera shake and we're gonna pop that on there as well. Then we'll hit play and the camera shake just zooms in and just has a little bit of a shake but it's not quite drastic enough for what i want so we're going to adjust the effect so click on your adjustment layer and then we're going to open up the inspector by clicking on this icon here and at the top you'll see video and you'll see open fx so click on open fx and in here you'll see flicker edition and you can adjust all the settings if you want to if I scroll down, I've got camera shake. If, like me, it's actually closed and you can't see all the settings, just double click to expand it and then you can get to all the different settings. Now for me, this is a glitch effect. We're not trying to be subtle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the motion scale and shove it all the way up to two. I'm gonna grab the speed scale and shove it all the way up to two. I'm gonna scroll down this motion method, which is the way that the camera shakes Cine is a bit too smooth for me, so I want square wave. And then I'm also going to change the border type from black to reflect. This just means if it shakes too much and it reveals a corner, there's a bit of cropping going on. Rather than it being black, it'll just reflect the corner back up so it won't look weird or unnatural or anything. Now if we just move my playhead back and hit play, that's starting to look a lot better. So now we can start applying some of our overlays. So I'm going to grab this glitch one overlay from my media pool and I'm going to drag it above my adjustment clip and just plunk it down right there. Now if we hit play now, all you're going to see is the glitch effect because it's over the top of everything else. So we need to change the blending option essentially so that you can see everything as well as this glitch. So we're going to give that a click. In the inspector, which I've already got open, you've got composite and then you've got composite mode. So give composite mode a click and there's a whole bunch of different options for basically their different blending types. Now there's a couple that I recommend for this sort of thing. Color dodge is a really good one. Difference will have a dramatic effect. Exclusion is another one which seems to work really well. And lastly, you've got subtract. Now I'm gonna go with subtract for now and keep that there. So now if we hit play again, that's starting to look much more like it. If we head to our video transitions, we're gonna grab additive dissolve. And we're just gonna drag that onto these two clips like you'd add any of the transition. And I'm gonna make that really short because I like it nice and short. And that's just, again, just gonna to add to the overall effect. So if we just hit play, looking pretty good. So now we're just gonna grab one of our sound effects. I'm gonna grab this one, put it on my timeline, line it up. And then if we hit play, Looking pretty good. And it's as easy as that. Now this adjustment clip now is pretty universal. It's got the camera shake and it's got a flicker on it. 
So I can just copy that. You can come to my next one, and I can hit paste. Now here's another little trick for a transition without using a glitch overlay. I've got this adjustment clip here, but what I'm going to do is just drag it up so it's on the next layer up. And then I'm going to use my playhead. I'm going to go to the start of this transition. I'm going to come down and click on my video, and I'm just going to put a cut there. So I'm going to do Control B, just put a little cut. I'm going to come to the end and do the same thing. Now I'm going to drag these two upwards like so. And then we're just going to expand this video clip back to where it was. It's just a nice quick way of making a duplicate of that last little section, because then we can start to play with this. Give this one a click. And I'm just going to, again, within the inspector, I'm going to change my composite mode. Let's go with exclusion this time. And then I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm just going to alter the position a little bit. All I'm doing there is I'm creating like a ghosting effect just to make it look like it's glitched out. Now I want to apply the exact same thing to this next one here. And the easiest way to do that is just to copy the attributes. So we're just going to right click and then copy. Click on this one here. Right click again. Paste attributes. Make sure all of your video attributes are selected by just clicking this icon here. And then click apply. So now if we hit play, we've got a pretty good glitch going on there. Now again, I'm going to add the additive dissolve because it just makes it look a little bit nicer. And that's looking pretty good. Now another one you can use from the effects library here, if we open, air, open effects again, we're going to add some additional damage. So the JPEG damage is really good. Drag that onto your adjustment layer and you can see it will just add this sort of compression, pixelation, which just adds to the overall glitch effect. Then we'll grab another sound effect. Just trim that down. And if we play on this one, we've got another really cool glitch effect. And it's as easy as that. Now, before you go, don't forget that you can save all of those overlays adjustment layers and sound effects into power bins so they're available for you from any project that you open. Click on this video here where I'll show you how to use those power bins. Now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Let me know whether you loved it or hate it down in the comments below. And if you did love it, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.